at our legends. Today we're doing a bit of a road trip down to Hikadua, the once famous beachside area, which uh, apparently is not so famous anymore. Everybody's told us not to come here, don't come here, don't even stop here. But we thought we'd pop down, have a look. We didn't want to come down on our travels coming through because probably someone would have robbed our van or tried surfing gear and baggage. So we thought we'd come for a do a day trip before we come through here in a few days time. And I understand, yeah, it's not that nice, to be honest. So here we are down Hickadua Beach and the boys are teaching the dogs how to swim. One seems to be enjoying it a great deal, and the other one, not so much. So, one dog's loving it, the other one, he just doesn't want to move. So we're down here on the foreshore, all the boats are parked up on the inside reef. Got some of the resorts up on the top here. Obviously they're a bit run down because it really hasn't recovered since the economic crisis, so they haven't really had much money coming in. Most of the people that do come in here and live here, the foreign nationals that come here, pretty much come here long term, don't spend a lot of money, they live a little bit out, they actually get houses, and they actually rent rooms out to their fellow countrymen, I'm not going to name names, but maybe you can guess, and they also do tuk-tuk services, and then they do everything, and they're not going through the Sri Lankans, they just do their own thing, which is not good for the local economy. So hopefully that uh, stops in the future and these guys can recover and bring Hikadua back to where it was many, many years ago. Here we are on the main street. It's a little bit crowded, but uh, I heard it was really bad, but I don't think it's any worse than some of the other places we've been to. Maybe a few more, but the actual road itself is actually wider than Aragon Bay. Actually a lot wider. Probably a little bit busier than Aragon Bay and really doesn't have the vibe that Aragon Bay had either. So that's the really good thing that we did like about that. The vibe here doesn't really have a vibe. It's, it feels like a big city in a small town. That's probably the best way to describe it. And they're driving like it's a big city. It's, I've been in the big cities and it's probably just as busy. But again, it is the main road from Colombo down to the southern beaches so you've got to come this way unless they go the expressway which most of them don't because they've got to sometimes they've got to pay a toll and then like i said there's a lot of buses coming through they get a little bit close but when you're driving a tuk tuk around sri lanka a bus you know unless it's actually hitting you it doesn't really bother me that much at all anymore i've been through so much of the scary situations that, that this means actually nothing. <laughs> well, we bounced into the local fruit market and I thought we'd just give a bit of an idea of another. I know they're much the same but you two get different fruit markets with different sort of fruits and different sort of vegetables. This one here is a little bit better stock than the last one we were at. They've got the red bananas which is a, a little bit freaky can't say I've tried one yet, but uh, I'll have to try them before I go. I don't know what a red banana tastes like, so I've got to find out. And all the vegetables, the pineapples are a bit bigger than the last place. Then we've got broccoli and cabbages and cauliflower, dragon fruit, mango, mango of course, and all your basic sort of ginger. There are a lot of garlic, got the melons. Looks like the cauliflower's had better days, but I'm not sure when it goes into a curry, it'll all be pretty good. Got your leeks, beans, carrots, like that's looking pretty good, organic carrots, and potatoes. All, all looks very organic. Yeah, look, you know, it's like 40 degrees. Of course they're gonna wilt. They're made up in candy. They wouldn't be growing in this area. Then we've got grapes. Looks like they could, like the grapes could almost be imported, I'd say. They look, they look expensive. I'm not sure what that fruit is, but it's very colourful. 
Oh, it's still another, I need another type of dragon fruit. No, it's not very busy in here. The bottle shop's a lot busier than the fruit market, that's for sure. We've got some killer looking, I don't know what that is, like a, I think it's a, a gourd or something, I'm not sure. size walk that she could come back here and try a few of the local delicacies. What are you feeling like eating there, Diane? Um, barbecue. You've either got chicken or you've got fish. I think we'll go chicken over fish. Fish pastry, like there's a chicken pastry there. Or there's an egg and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is either. I'll get two chicken, two chicken pastries. Just get one. We'll share one. I'll, I'll try to buy it. I don't want to eat that much of it. And then we'll get some dessert. So, how's that sound? Yeah, okay. Well, I just bought a little bit of a dessert for Diane. She's not happy because she goes, I'm a big spender. Um, she doesn't realise this actually cost me about 25 US cents. <laughs> and she's really upset. <laughs> so I'm just trying to look after her. <laughs> so let me, it looks pretty good. So I'll let you know what it tastes like. Just saw me show you through one of the local hotels and uh, so you can get a bit of an idea in here can do it because we haven't stayed here so we do like to um, have a bit of a look around some of the hotels. Hello. Very friendly staff. Hello. Like the buffet area and the, and the pool through there. Lots of seating area. And like I said, because it is off season, it is a little bit um, quiet. I'm not sure why, because um, I actually think this is one of the better places on the south coast during the off season. Access out straight outside to the, the calm waters. Well, I'm not sure why everyone tried to warn me not to come to Hikandua. I'm really not sure at all, because we've come here on a day trip, because we didn't want to come here and Day with our gear like I said before but it's actually probably the best off-season beach that we've come across most of the other beaches on there's a couple but most of them are really dumpy waves and you can't really swim on them we're here it's got like a reef out the, the middle there and you can snorkel on the inside it's swimming is quite safe and all the boats are in there We've got nice beaches. This is a net over there, so I'm not sure what that's keeping out because you know it's not going to get over the reef if, if it's a big shark or something, that's for sure. So I'm not really sure, but you've got a lot of areas in here nice and safe to swim. It looks like a standing room. The only reason we're not going in the water ourselves is because we've both got infections on our legs, so otherwise we would have been down there ourselves. But uh, I really don't want it to pe people to be put off by coming to Hikadua now. I've actually been here seen it it's actually not so bad it, and the, you know there is buses through the main street but you get that in Aragon Bay you get that everywhere it's really back on the list if you in, in the off season you know during the season I'm sure it's a lot busier and the waves are a lot bigger but like I said before if you're coming on the off season you don't surf this place would be really pretty good G'day legends tonight I'm reviewing one of Sri Lanka's most popular beers especially in Lanka. It's called a Carlsberg and it's called the Special Brew and luckily it's 8.8 makes it very cheap. So it's not a lot of alcohol beer. Right, 
probably not as cold as I want it to be, but that's a um, pretty common thing here in Schmanker. So the colour, it's a little bit darker than most. It's probably getting closer to a German sort of beer, but it doesn't taste like a German beer. Smell, a little bit of longer aroma. No, but like I said, the colour is quite dark. Doesn't taste strong. Definitely doesn't taste strong. It just tastes like a normal sort of four or five percent of German beer. A little bit hoppy. Um, or a bit of a malt aftertaste. But it's serious. After about three of these, you're going to touch it. 